Hello, I'm Katri Kolesnik, Head of Business Technology Forum. What is Business Technology Standard? The Business Technology Standard is an open source framework and it has been developed together by a community consisting of public and private sector organizations. The Business Technology Standard is a set of practical frameworks and models that you can take into use in your organization to manage business technology. It contains everything you need, starting from setting the mindset, how to develop and operate the services, what are the needed capabilities, as well as roles and responsibilities for efficient technology management. The Business Technology Standard gives the guidance to transform the business and organization's capabilities. It covers what is done in so-called digital frontline, meaning development of new applications and solutions, and what is done then on the technology backbone. So all those information technology systems and processes that are needed for running the business operations. So what's new in business technology standard? Business technology governance model. The business technology standard governance model is, is really based on a few fundamentals. We have the three levels of governance. We have the enterprise level, we have the value stream level, and then we have end-to-end -end flow level. The end-to-end -end flow level really makes sure that we take the demand to the development and go to operations. The value stream level on top of that is a portfolio level, and it optimizes the end-to-end -end flows from a certain business perspective. So that's the, that's the task of value stream. And then on top of that, we have the enterprise level, which does uh, optimization across all the value streams and really giving the guidance, instructions, principles for all value streams and all end-to-end -end flows. So the business technology governance uh, is, is really impacting pretty much all the areas of business technology standard. So it's really the, the uh, backbone of, of everything, because that's how you really govern, how you create value, how the roles are operating, how they work together, uh, what are the roles and responsibilities in general. Taking the business technology uh, governance model in use really requires your business to be part of the exercise. So the business technology standard is, is not for, for IT itself. It's really when you have the, all the key parties, business, IT, in many cases, even data together, building the business value. Roles and responsibilities model. There are actually around over 60 roles defined in the business technology standard. And this role and responsibility deck itself has the description of the main roles. They are essentially business excellence, enterprise development, digital development, service excellence, and the uh, smart governance. They form groups and uh, combined by different roles that have the capability to carry out the different tasks end-to-end -end within their given scope. We've recently added data roles into the deck um, as a result of the implementation of the new extension, the uh, data governance and management operating model. And these roles are essentially describing the data ownership and the roles that are responsible from the business and technology side for carrying out the hands-on tasks with the data and handling of data assets. If you are a smaller organization and you want to take these roles into use and you cannot match every single role, that is fine because you can then look into the ownership, the responsibility description, and you're able to do matches for your existing roles, how they handle different tasks and so on. For bigger organizations, the benefit of having the role identity map and the role deck is to be able to align the roles and uh, to standardize the roles. For example, you might have roles in your organization that still are responsible for many different things, uh, many different areas and functions. The, the role deck will then give this clarity what 
things are they responsible for, what things are they actually just supporting, and what things are they enabling. So this gives them um, an alignment because they have a clarity of understanding of what it is they're doing. For standardization, that would mean that everyone in the company from end to end will know what the role means and it will help you communicate to the people what their responsibilities are and what they actually need to be doing and when. And it's also easier for you to set incentives and uh, rewards uh, based on those role descriptions. Operating model for data governance and management. Data is really the way to increase your efficiency and reduce costs because you're getting a better awareness of where is your money going and how long something takes and where are the potentials for increasing the efficiency and therefore saving costs. It's also about reducing risks because like the better awareness and availability of the data will point you to being aware of where are the gaps, what could be risks, and you are able to mitigate them early on. There are quite a few elements to the model. So if I would have to mention three, I would say there is the data asset management model, which describes the different perspectives from which data needs to be uh, looked at and managed and governed. As a second one, I would mention the elements of data-driven companies, which uh, really gives a holistic picture on what needs to be taken care of in order for an organization to become data-driven. Last but not least, there are the data capabilities and data roles, which provide a good starting point and can be adapted to the particular organization. When thinking about how to take it into use, this model, there are two key aspects which should be maybe followed. The first one is like start from the business side. There is no point in starting from the IT side if the business is not in the game, like if the business is not involved. So starting with the business and establish a vision on how the data can support the corporate strategy. The other angle is to think big but start small. So thinking big means to think long ahead in order to start with approaches and solutions which really can lead the way also in the long future. This year, the Business Technology Forum invites business technology professionals and organizations all over the world to adopt this open source model and use technology to build a better future for all of us. Join us at www.managebt.org.